Thank you for coming out. Oh, sit down. Thank you for coming out to celebrate this wonderful organization. I tell you, it makes me so mad to see how little has changed. And you know, I mean, it is hard work trying to get these folks to do the right thing for its children and its citizens. And I just want to just salute you. Thank you for coming out to support them. And I just celebrate the work that's here. And I am so pleased to celebrate. I don't want to, we're going to talk about how old we are. Um, my over half century friend, Joyce Ladner. And she has a terrific, uh, uh, she's just wonderful. And, um, you know, she grew up in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, um, graduated from Tougaloo, went, how the Tougaloo people here went on to get her PhD at Wash U in St. Louis, and I'm just so proud of her. I don't know what in the world to do, but it became her, she was a fighter from the beginning um, as a child, and she was a part of the NAACP youth um, chapter in her hometown at Hattiesburg. And at Tougaloo, she was very courageous and rebellious as a student leader in the civil rights movement in Mississippi. She was a field secretary for SNCC, and she helped do the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, um, which we were all privileged to have been born at the right time with the right issues to kind of get out all of our frustrations and use our energy. And Joyce was a big one in Mississippi, helped organize voter registrations across the state and protests along the civil rights leaders who came through there. And she was somebody who tried to go to worship at a Methodist white, white Methodist church and got herself into trouble. Um, but, um, you know, she was, she's been a warrior from the very earliest days. And when she was a senior at Tougaloo, she helped join and form the Council on Federated Organizations, COFO, which tried to coordinate SNCC and CORE and NAACP and others. And I was so privileged to be able to go into the state about this time in 1963 um, as a civil rights lawyer um, and to be there for the Mississippi Summer Project of 1964, um, which opened up, began to open up that closed door society. Um, but Joyce has been involved in all of those. And I'm just so proud of her. And when the March on Washington needed help, she went up to Harlem to help organize folk, to get folk to there and raise money. And so she has been a long distance runner. And her contributions to challenging civil rights and women's rights, discrimination against women and, 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 and black folk um, and others um, is a study in what we need to have as a piece of, of our training of the next generation. I mean, Joyce and Dory, her sister, have been terrific. She did some postdoctoral research at the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, and she has been a professor at a number of colleges and universities after she did her organizing work, including Southern Illinois University and Hunter College. In 1995, she came up here. President Clinton appointed her to the District of Columbia Financial Control Board to oversee financial restructuring of the DC public school system. She then became a senior fellow for the governance of studies program at Brookings. I learned some stuff when I did this research. I mean, I didn't know you did all this stuff. This is wonderful. I just, I had a warp after Mississippi. Um, um, but then she was a part as well of the US Department of Justice Advisory Committee on Violence Against Women and is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. She served as a board member for many civic and professional organizations, including the American Sociological Society, the Minority Center for the National Institute of Mental Health, the Society for the Study of Social Problems, the 21st Century Foundation, the Caucus of Black Sociologists, and the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. And she's been active with the Washington Urban League, the Washington Women's Forum, and the Coalition of 100 Black Women. She's been a long distance runner but she's also found time to be an author, and she has written a number of books and scholarly publications, including Tomorrow, it's Tomorrow's Tomorrow, The Black Woman, a pioneering contribution to African-American women's study. She's gotten a lot of really well-deserved honors, and this one tonight is well-deserved, and I'm just so pleased to be able to salute her. 
I like the fact that she has been that. It's hard. I mean, you know, this stuff is hard. And the harder you work, and it goes back, you think you won something and move forward, and then it goes back, and again, you have to get it back to where it was and move it a little bit further. But she's been a long distance warrior, and I'm so pleased and proud of her scholarship, of her activism, of her staying power. I'm up of wisdom and of knowing her. I just always have felt so blessed to have been born at the intersection of great events and great people and great challenges that we could change. And Joy, you see, you're, you're really a part of that, and I'm just so honored to honor you um, tonight. So come on up here and let us celebrate you.